Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven and welcome back to another thrift haul. I recently went to Goodwill and I was able to fill my cart up so I have a couple of thrift haul videos to share with you. The first one you have already seen yesterday. If you missed it, go ahead and check that out. I will link it down in the description below. But today is another haul of things I am going to be listing up on my eBay. Now, I have switched over to eBay full-time. I was selling on Etsy as my main platform, and then I wanted to try eBay a little bit, and it's just been a little confusing trying to sell on bo both platforms. So in order to give eBay a full shake, I am going to just kind of do away with Etsy. I do still have some things listed that were already listed, but I'm not putting any new listings up. So it is still linked down below. There's probably about 50 things on there right now that will be on there until they're gone, I guess. But yes, everything's gonna be here on eBay. And I am also trying eBay auction. It's gonna be eBay auction, but there is a best offer option as well. So we will see how eBay works out for me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the items I picked up. This first thing here is really neat. This is a vintage water pitcher. It has the nice ice catcher lip on it. And then it has this schooner on it, this little pirate ship schooner. It's etched in glass. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought it was really fun. I'm sure there's a lot of people that like nautical decor that would really, you know, enjoy this. So it's, it's beautiful. It's a little bit understated in the way that it's kind of simple in color, but it's a nice image. So I think people will really enjoy this. They had it marked $6. I did get 25% off, so I got it for $4.50, and this will be up on eBay auction. Next up, I found these really neat hand-painted wooden Russian nesting dolls. These were over in the hand-pick section. They had it marked for $6. I didn't think it was too bad, you know, considering there are four inside. So if you're unfamiliar with the nesting dolls, they have more of the same, but they are just inside, so... Here's the first one. <laughs> it's kind of fun to see how many's in there, right? So they do have four and that's the tiniest one there. But yeah, these will be going up on my eBay. They run for about $12 at minimum. So I think I should be able to get at least that for them. This was probably my best find of the day. They didn't even have this in the handpick section. I was very surprised. They only had this marked six bucks. So I've got about $4 into it here. And it's just a nice ceramic salt box. So it's in this beautiful blue and white glaze. It does have the little hole there where you can, you know, adhere it to the wall. I don't see any issues to it. It's in, you know, really good shape. It's inside there. So the best thing about it, besides, you know, it's a really nice salt box is they have these birds like this bird design all the way around it you see that how gorgeous i love this there is one currently listed on ebay for 135 dollars i believe so i would expect to get at least half that for it this will be up on ebay auction and hopefully you know it does well we'll see how i make out Next up, I found these really quirky wooden animals. I guess they're called party animals. So we have the cheetah here, and then the zebra. And then we have a elephant. And then it did come with this little table. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I do believe these were made in Africa and they're hand carved, so. I just thought it was a really cute set. The animals were all marked to a piece. The table was marked a dollar. So it was $7 with, you know, the whole set here. And again, those are going to go up on eBay auction. I think they're really fun and quirky. I'm sure someone's going to get a kick out of them and really enjoy them. Next up, I found this beautiful redware pottery piece of the swan. It's in this nice, beautiful brown glaze. It does remind me of Blue Mountain pottery, but it's not marked on the bottom, so I don't think it is Blue Mountain, but it's very similar in look. I think it's really gorgeous, so 
I figured someone else would really enjoy this. It kind of has mid-century vibes to it and that's really in right now. So we will see if anyone wants to add this to their collection. They had this marked for $4 at Goodwill. So my Goodwill lately has had a lot of wooden items turning up and I really think the natural decor is really cool. A lot of people that like to decorate in boho really like the, you know, wooden pieces. I tried to just get a couple of that kind of reminded me of boho decor specifically and these did because they are kind of flowered shaped so they're these little i believe candy dishes they were marked three dollars a piece here you see how the bottom base is kind of shaped like a flower petal and then that goes and you know repeats in the top of this pedestal bowl but i thought this would be really cute for candy dishes you could probably do some kind of a decorative thing for the table or tablescape in it as well I don't know, put some kind of faux flowers or something in it. it would look cute but I thought these are really nice they have a, a slight bit of wear on it but not too bad a lot of the other wooden ones had a lot of wear to it is another reason why I passed on them but I figured six dollars for the two of them I would go ahead and give them a try up on eBay auction so as I was walking into the handpick section they had this mannequin and this necklace just stood out to me so I decided to pick it up. I don't think it's any, you know, anything worth too much, but they had it marked at $1.25. And it's just this really cool gold tone necklace and it has like an Egyptian look to it with like a pharaoh or something like that. So I thought it'd be a cute little statement necklace for someone. So I'll probably offer that up in one of my live sales. I've done really well with these vintage copper trivets in the past so if I find them in good condition I will pick them up a lot of times they have some pretty nasty patina to them that you know isn't the most attractive like some patina is okay but sometimes they're really banged up so I will pass on those this one's not too bad I really love the subject matter of the tree and it has this cute little bird in it it does hang up there's a little hanger there and it's footed as well but they only had a dollar on this so I got it for 75 cents with my membership discount and this is going to go into an upcoming live sale. Next up I have these vintage 1960s Noritake bowls. They are the Plymouth pattern and they were produced between 1962 to 1967. So the neat thing about these they're pretty rare because I've tried to you know see what they might go for, look for some comps online couldn't really find anything on eBay. There was none on sold. There was a couple of pieces, but not bowls. It was like a tea pot and something else. So that tells me these are hard to come by. My other go-to place to check is uh, replacements.com. And they do have this listed, but they don't have these bowls. They only have a few pieces in the entire collection. So they were out of a lot of stuff as well. So to me, that means they're hard to come by and there's probably people out there that are looking for replacements that can't find them. So they're probably worth a little bit more. These will go up on auction, but I'm gonna price them at about what I think the, they're worth to start because I don't wanna get lowballed on them because I do think they are a little bit more valuable since they're hard to come by. So yeah, I thought those were super fun. I love the design to them. I love the tulips and the colors are just brilliant. I think they're worth about $8 a bowl, and so that would be about $48 plus shipping. This next piece I thought was really gorgeous. I There was something about it to me that was screaming that it was older. I wasn't exactly sure though, because there are some things that look like this that are kind of repos that are more modern, but this is from 1974. It does have a tag on the bottom. It's Roman numerals, but it is 1974 put up by Design Gifts and it is made in the USA. So this is a beautiful soapstone and it has this really nice blue and then it has these beautiful florals there. So it is a ring holder and it's in really good shape. I thought this was great. So this will also go up on my eBay on auction. I have picked up party light items in the past and they've always sold really well for me. So when I saw this in package, I thought it would do okay. Um, they're the Flaming Star Tea Light set here. They're really gorgeous. So there's two of these inside there and you can put your little tea light in there, but I thought they were really nice. They got a good weight to them. And so there is a set of two 
inbox. These will be going up in my live sale because there are some already listed on, you know, eBay. And I just feel like the market's a little flooded there. So I'm just going to go ahead and not bother with that and try it in my live sale and see if anyone's interested first. My Goodwill had a lot of gravy boats the day I went and I don't know, I guess I was just determined to get one. <laughs> there were so many, I was like, well, I should pick at least one. I decided on this one here. It's a vintage Homer Laughlin piece. Homer Laughlin is the company that puts out Fiesta wear. That's what they're most known for. At least to me, that's what I, you know, I enjoy collecting Fiesta wear. I use more of the modern pieces myself, but I still really enjoy it. But yeah, this is Homer Laughlin and it has these beautiful florals on it. The gold trim is, you know, in really good condition. Usually that's pretty worn and banged up, but it's not that bad. It's got a few little tiny spots, but it's in pretty good overall condition. It is marked on the bottom there. It has like a double label. So it was originally stamped with the Homer Laughlin symbol. And then they stamped another, you know, stamp on top of it and let you know that it's part of the Priscilla collection. It's a Priscilla pattern there. So I thought it was really gorgeous. They had it marked $3. This will probably be a live sale item as well. Just, you know, I think these types of things sell well in my live sale. So that's probably where I'm going to put that. But if anyone's watching this and is interested now in any of the live sale items, go ahead and leave me a comment and we can work something out. Next up, I found this gorgeous painting here of the ocean side. It has a little lighthouse and some seagulls there. Very beautiful. This is actually a signed artist piece. It's made by H. Mondrian. He has made a, you know, I was able to find a few paintings that he's done. So it wasn't just like a local artist necessarily. It was someone that really did a lot of landscape type painting. So I, you know, I thought it was really cool. I wasn't able to find too much about him per se there was another artist with his same last name that was pretty famous but he did more like like 1960s mod like abstract stuff but you know quite the difference in style between them but it's kind of interesting that they had the same last name this was only three dollars at goodwill here it is in this nice wooden frame the wooden frame is in pretty good condition there's you know not too many scuffs there's a little bit of you know, scuffs on the frame, but nothing too serious. I think it still would look just fine putting on the wall as is. This will be going up on eBay auction. I'm a little sad that this was only $3 at Goodwill because can you imagine the amount of work this artist put into painting this? So I'm going to start it, I think, at about $25 because, you know, he deserves the credit <laughs> where credit's due. So I think it's worth at least that. So Anyone that's into nautical decor, I think will really enjoy this piece. Also in the handpick section, I found this beautiful nativity set. It is a Mexican pottery. They're, they're made out of like a ceramic clay and they're kind of folk art type in style. So I just thought they were so gorgeous. They look very old to me. They're probably mid-century, I would guess. I don't know the age to them, but they, they just look like 1950s or 60s to me, maybe even older. But they had the baby Jesus here and that one does have like Mexico written on the bottom, but he was included. That's what I always look for when I'm getting nativity sets. I don't, you know, pick them up. There's only one that had an issue on um, one of the wise men, but there's Joseph. It has like a metal halo and a little staff there it's painted blue there's a little bit of patina where some of the blue is coming off but i think they still have a really cool look to them i love the little florals that they put on them so and it did include some animals and this was the guy that had the little boo-boo but i think you can fix it pretty easily it's brown it's a brown hat so uh, you know just take a little teeny bit of clay and let that dry and then just paint it you know brown over top and I think it'll look good as new. So there's people that can fix it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, this entire set of 12 was marked $8. They were stuffed in a bag for eight bucks. I got 25% off. So there were $6 for the set for me. Those will be going up on eBay. We'll see how they do. Hopefully someone can enjoy them. I think they're super cute. I just got a new nativity set myself. So, you know, 
If I didn't get that, I probably would have kept them because I really like them. If you saw anything that you were interested in, I do have my link to my eBay store down below. And like I said, the live sale items, if you're interested in, just leave me a comment and we can work something out if you don't want to wait until the live sale. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what item I picked up here today was your favorite. And we will catch you in tomorrow's video. See you then, guys. Bye.